Sustainalytics is a global company and we track the environmental, social and governance performance of companies around the world. So our job is to determine uh, what the environmental and social footprint of companies is and uh, highlight that for investors, both individual investors and pension plans. We've got about 60 or 70 analysts around the world and you know I describe them as being a cross between a very traditional financial analyst using all of the tools that a financial analyst uses uh, but you cross a, a financial analyst with a private detective or an investigative journalist and that's what you have at Sustainalytics. So they're not just looking at the corporate information, they're talking to governments, they're talking to NGOs, they're talking to unions, they're talking to indigenous people, the broad range. And you know, it's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together and you're putting those pieces together. So it's not just what the company says it's doing in the environmental and social area, we're actually measuring what they're doing, the performance of that company. The foundation of what we do is an analytical framework and we look at core indicators in the environmental, social and governance areas. And again, what we try to do is on a sector basis identify what environmental and social issues a company deals with in a particular sector on a day-to-day -day basis. What risks does that company face in its ordinary business on the environmental and social front? And then we try to measure how they're going about minimizing those risks. So, you know, for oil and gas, obviously you've got large environmental challenges like climate change and water usage and so on. Well, first of all, do the companies know about those risks? If they know about them, what are they doing to mitigate or minimize those risks? And that's really where um, Sustainalytics comes in, measuring the gap between understanding and action.